Hi, I'm Seth O'Gradney, an embryologist here at the Florida Fertility Institute. In a few moments, we're going to take a look at the ICSI procedure. ICSI is the acronym for Intracytoplasmic Sperm Injection. It is generally performed when fertilization through standard IVF is anticipated to be low. When done with modal sperm, fertilization through ICSI is typically 70%. Okay, now let's take a look at the ICSI procedure. Prior to preparing the microscope, the oocytes have been stripped of their cumulus and granulosa cells, and the modal sperm has been separated from the non-modal sperm and washed. We begin by setting the needles into the scope. the holding needle on the left hand side and the injection or ICSI needle on the right. Prior to the procedure, a culture dish was prepared with media and overlaid in oil. This ICSI dish is loaded with both the spermatozoa and oocytes and placed in the center of the microscope's heated stage. The needles are lowered into the dish and rechecked for alignment. Once the dish is secured on the microscope stage and the needles are properly aligned, I begin by selecting a morphologically normal sperm exhibiting good forward progression. The ICSI needle is gently dragged over the tail of the sperm, stunning it and allowing for the sperm to be brought into the needle. A mature oocyte is held in place and manipulated so that the sperm can be injected at a 90 degree angle to the polar body. Once all mature oocytes have been exceed, the dish is removed and the inseminated oocytes are transferred into a dish of fresh culture media for incubation overnight. Fertilization is assessed the following day, 16 to 19 hours following the ICSI procedure.